Welcome to Potter's training video on how to program the PotterNet software into your Potter control panel. Prior to the setup of the PotterNet supervising station, the FireLimp control panel's program will need a few modifications. First, under the General Options tab, we need to add a panel name. It is very important to put an accurate and informative panel name in this section as this is how the panel will be displayed inside of your PotterNet software. Next, under the User tab, you will need to program a user for the PotterNet software. Go to one of the available user slots and enter a password for the PotterNet software. Make sure to note this user code as it will be needed when attempting to connect the panel to the PotterNet software. Now you're going to need to select PC Connect Supervised Single User Option by checking the box. This will allow the PotterNet software to access the panel. Then finally under the LAN Settings tab you will need to add a static IP address. The network administrator for the site will be required to provide the static IP and the gateway information to you. You will also see the PC Connect port which is always defaulted to 32000. Confirm with the network administrator that port 32000 is available. If not, you can change the port to any other number provided by the admin. Once the LAN settings have been entered, you are now ready to download the configuration file to the panel and connect it to the network. For more information or questions about the PotterNet software, please contact tech support at the email address or phone number shown on the screen. And don't forget to follow us on social media.